Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villain. Welcome to Season 4, Episode 3 of The Impossible Dream with Barla Towns. We look for European glory with the Welsh club. And today we have a Europa League qualifying game or tie against Club Bruges. We'll show both legs of that and it is going to be very, very tough. The more I look at their team and try to plot a way to defeat them, the more I want to cry, to be honest. But we start in the medical centre, never a good, a good sign. And that is because we are... We're at bare bones in some positions that I thought we were quite, uh, pretty well covered in. First up, Joe Lewis. He has uh, strained his ankle ligament. He's out two to four weeks. He is, of course, one of our big, important centre-backs. Um, and at the moment, to be honest, he's the sort of backup left-back as well because we're really in some dire straits at left-back. We're still looking in the transfer market, but I'm struggling to find anybody. Um, so that's not great news. And the other bad news for this one, it's only a minor injury, but a twisted knee for Jake uh, Nichols, our backup right-back, has ruled him out of this first leg, and of course, Bakari was already ruled out. You can see there, he's not he's not ready to come back in and start. Um, so we are without a right back as well. Added to that, you can see Evans, Jones, Reese Williams, and Wade, they're all match fatigued. Uh, and we know, again, match fatigued players tend to not play well, and of course, are at a much higher chance of getting injured. So it's not great. It's not great coming into this one. But before we get to European adventures, we have begun our uh, Premier League, Welsh Premier League defence. We started against Penny Bont. Let's go see how we did. Denny Gosset got our season underway with a stunner. And he was at it again in first half stoppage time with a cracking volley. Ollie Denham got our third just after the break. Before Gosset completed his hat trick from the spot. Whoa! All hail the return of Lord Denny Gosset of Bala Town. A hat trick to start the season off for him, and that first goal, and the second goal too, wasn't too bad. Stunning, stunning efforts. Ollie Denham, who has now signed a professional contract, he's happy. He signed on professional terms, um, so he's kind of back in my good books again now, and just as well because we really, really need him with those injuries that we have. Um, Excellent, just a good, really, really good start to the season. I was really happy with it, and it was so good to see Gosset scoring goals for fun again. Uh, if we have a look at what that means for the league table, early, early days, I know, but you can see we do sit top there. Now, our expectations for the season, we are expected to win the league, and that's probably fair enough given the money that's been invested into us. We're now a professional club, of course, as well. We're expected to, we were expected to be competitive in the Champions League. We did that. We got through one tie. Couldn't quite squeeze past Legia Warsaw last time out. We have no expectations for uh, for the Europa League, which is probably a good thing, as I think we're going to struggle today. Iron Brew are expected to miss the fourth round. We haven't got a draw for that yet. Uh, Welsh Cup, we're expected to win, as we are with the Welsh League Club. We do play Connor Key um, in, sort of in between these two ties, so I'll get that off camera, and then we'll see how we do there. The season preview for the Welsh Premier League. Uh, just the game in, and you will have noticed those eagle eyed amongst you, actually. The New Saints already dropped points. They drew 0-0 against Cavan Druids. Um, so that's an excellent result for us there that they've dropped points so early on. But we are the favourites. No, yes, we are the favourites. Uh, two to one on uh, ahead. Is that one on? I can never work out odds. No, I don't think it is. Anyway, uh, ahead of the New Saints, and we can see the other teams there as well. The Media 11 Dream Team, it is essentially a Bali United 11. Now, Radcliffe, who's our backup goalkeeper, is actually the Media 11 uh, goalkeeper of the, of the tournament, uh, of the league. Williams, Lewis, and Glennon are all in there, as is James Waite and uh, Damien Allmark up front. Well done, mate, uh, in the team of the uh, the Media 11 Dream Team. Reese Williams and James Waite are seen as our key players. Um, and usually it's just two per team, isn't it? So we won't have anybody else listed down there. But there we go. That's uh, how we line up coming into this one. Is there anything else I wanted to mention? Um, not just now. Uh, let's see if we can get back. Here it is. Uh, to the Club Bruges match preview. Now, they are heavy favorites for this one, as you would expect. Now, as has been the case a lot of times here, we don't really know too much about them. Um... We can see here they got absolutely smashed away from home against, uh, is that, that's Cluj, isn't it? Uh, so 3-0, but they did manage, uh, did they win? No, they got a draw at home, but a, a late, late equaliser in this one. We can see they do tend to sort of spread their passing across the field. That's all we really have to go on, though. And this is the team we're sending out. Um, yeah, it's kind of, it's, it's not... It's not the strongest team we could put out, to be honest, but it's what we have left. So Gray goes in goal, Glennon, Denham, Reese Williams, and Gosney comes in as a makeshift right back. I think he can do it. He's not the quickest, but he does have decent crossing and dribbling. He's not a bad tackler. Um, we've just got to kind of hope that he just gets us through, to be honest. Uh, Owen Taylor's going to go as the DM again. He played there against uh, Walsall, and he did okay, I thought, against Legia. 
uh, Vieira is back from injury, but not really sharp enough for this one. But we might bring him off the bench, depending how things are going. It's Watson, Parsons continuing in midfield. James Waite, he's match fatigued, but we really do need him up there. We're going to give Serafino and Boston Brew a game. Um, that's mainly because we have all mark earmarked uh, for the you know for domestic games right now to carry us through those. So. Yeah, we'll just kind of see how we go. Oh, and the other news is that we have offered uh, Neblia a contract, uh, 1.2 grand a week. Which he's a sort of agreed it. We're just waiting on him to sort of officially sign on, and then hopefully um, we'll have him available soon, though not for the second leg of this tie, unfortunately. So they have come out differently to what we were expecting. We're essentially matching up, which maybe isn't a good thing for us, to be honest, because <laughs> that kind of means we're going man for man. Uh, and I'm going to imagine that as good as our players are, as much as we love them, they're probably not as good as the Club Rouge players. Reminder players, there's no real pressure on them here. Um, let's show them what we're capable of. We've got nothing to lose. Uh, it is a little bit like that, to be honest. Uh, if we can get some away goals, though, you never know. You know, we, we don't have a, a good enough or deep enough squad to be able to handle the miss. I mean, Joe Lewis is a big miss. Um, ideally, I would have had Dan Evans playing alongside Williams for this one, but he's been playing domestically, so he's match fatigued as well. Um, so, yeah, we, if we can get out of this with a chance, sort of like keep the tie alive a little bit in the Welsh, Welsh colours here, um, sort of like the, the Legia Warsaw game, keep the tie alive and kind of see where that leads us. Gosney's done really well there. He's found Parsons. Now, can Parsons get a ball into the box? It's a cross deepish for Glennon. He's going to retrieve that. We know our, our fullbacks are more defensive, aren't they? They're not particularly good getting forward. Gosney's there. That's a nice little layoff. Parsons wasn't quite on the same wavelength, and are we getting hit on the break here? We just might be going to, you know. Oh, we've gone straight past Reese Williams. Can he get back? I don't think he can. Save us, Louis Gray, and he does. Oh, that was that was close though, wasn't it? Just when you think we might have a highlight, and it goes the other way. We'll give it a get creative. We're not doing well in terms of holding possession, but we are limiting their chances 20 minutes in here. Is this going to be the first good one? It's hacked away by Denham. Serafino just kind of headed it into the defender there, unfortunately. Reese Williams picks that up for Gosney. Gosney, what can he do? He loses out, keeps possession, a nice little back heel. <laughs> Thankfully, you want to have back heel Gosney as well. There we go. It's a good ball. Glennon getting forward. What's he doing there? Glennon, can he finish? Oh, I'll tell you what, he's done relatively well there, and it's Mignolet. It just goes to show the difference, doesn't it? I mean, as much as I love Louis Gray... He hasn't played for Liverpool. Here we go with James Waite with a corner in. And it's not the best, to be honest. And it's easy for Mignolet to claim. Um, I tell you what, we've had more chances than they have, which is... I'll take that, to be honest. Here we can we win the ball there. It's second ball, maybe. No. Come on, boys. Come on. I am still looking at this in the transfer market. I'm still looking for, for left backs because Glennon is he's good defensively. But I'd rather him be playing centre-back. Uh, in a back three. Glennon's done horribly there, and we've just about got away with that. Um, I'm still looking for wingers as well. I would like to use wingers a little bit this season, uh, even just to have the option to do it. But right now, we only really have Neto, because um, Follerin went off to Millwall in the offseason. We couldn't get him. There's a decent ball for Glennon. Can he put his foot through one? Glennon... <gasps> We saw Jack Kelly get one like that last season, didn't we? I think it was against Legia about this stage of the, of the, of the European adventure as well. Because I think we played them in the Europa League, didn't we? There's a blocked cross. Watts has it. Goes back for Denham. Keeps possession. Um, this is asking for trouble here, to be honest. Denham. Back for Watts. There's a ball for Waite. Can he pass? Oh, just not quite falling for us, is it? And are we going to get hit on the break here? We've got three on three at the back. Can we get back? Reese Williams. He does get in there. No, he doesn't. And Louis Gray saves us again. A really, really good stop, that one. And we just... Oh, over the bar. I wonder if we need to lower the... I don't know, do we need to lower the tempo or raise it? Um, let me think. Maybe we're just not quite doing things quick enough. I don't know if we have the ability to play at a much higher tempo. But, well, let's see what happens in this highlight... We do just look like we're maybe just a little bit slow. Oh, is that a penalty? It's Denham again. Oh, Denham. He just does silly things sometimes. Come on. Can Louis Gray pluck one out of the top drawer here? Louis Gray. No, he cannot. Let's give it a demand more. Let's raise this tempo and just see. I wonder if we need... Actually, no. I wonder if we need to be more disciplined with our passing. Last season's European adventure was so long ago, I have troubles remembering exactly what uh, what we had done. 
but Ollie Denham, oh, you, I mean, you don't know, you don't know what, you know, whatever, it's done, it's done, but I go back to ideally he wouldn't be playing there, so you don't know if another defender would have done the same thing, Gosney tries to get forward again, there's a decent ball, it's there, oh, and it's Glennon, thumping it in, it's 1-1, we've got the away goal, we've come straight back at them, and we've scored a massive, massive goal there, that is absolutely huge, let's give him a concentrate, make sure we can try and get into the break here if we can, Gosney got forward, he's crossed it to them, and Glennon, where has he come from? Where has that finish come from? From the big centre-back, filling it at left-back for us. And that is an absolute howitzer. Have some of that, you Belgian bastards. That is 1-1. And it is game on. Tie on. That's what we didn't manage to do against Legia Warsaw. I should, sorry, Belgian people, if you're watching. I really got a bit carried away there. But what do we want to say here? Um, I'm happy with the performance so far. It's time for everyone to dig in. Um, I never, I don't want to get complacency in here. I know we're the underdogs. Let's give the fans a performance. Um, it's time to dig in. Let's try that. Let's try that. Um, and it's a little bit, a little bit frustrating in that, you know, the Legia Warsaw goal came from a, like a, a, just not a lucky, it wasn't a lucky goal. But it was a good strike, but you know, from the outside the area, from a corner, uh, when a centre-back's doing that. It's a, it's a little bit unlucky. It's not like we got picked apart. And the same sort of thing here, you know, a penalty is, you know, it, it's, it's a legitimate way to score a goal, but it's a little bit, I feel a little bit unlucky in that, again, it's not like they've opened us up. They've done that on other occasions and probably could have scored, but we're not looking, touch wood, we're not looking too bad defensively. Which is really, really promising because you know that's that sort of the foundation we can build off if we can manage to do that and you know nick a goal here and there like we've managed to do here. I'm going to call it on James Wait here. He's match fatigued. He's not playing well. We've got youngster Ian Dixon to bring on, so I'm going to do that. Parsons is also not playing particularly well, um, but we're going to have to persist with him. I think the other option. Let's give it a get creative. The other option here we could do is we could stick. We could move Taylor forward, get Romario Vieira in there. Um, Callum Watts prefers to get a little bit further forward in any case, so we can... Uh, I don't know if I want him attacking. Let's just go on support. And we can put Owen Taylor as a deep-lying playmaker on support. Yeah. That works. Uh, Bust and Brew's not having a great game, but, I mean, he's still Bust and Brew, isn't he? We don't want to take him off uh, because we know what he can do. Come on, boys. Let's demand a little bit more here. Williams has picked up a knock. That is not great. It's going to have to be Dan Evans to come on for him. Just as a regular centre-back. And let's hope that's not... Again, see, playing match fatigue players, it, it tends to backfire on you. Um, I tell you what, we're getting into stoppage time here. Are we going to get a stunning, stunning 1-1 draw on the road in Belgium? That is absolutely huge. And if we don't give a penalty away at home, we just might find ourselves... Uh, well done. That's a, that's a really good result. Youthful Barletown draw with Club Bruges. And like I was saying, if we don't concede a goal at home, we will find ourselves guaranteed of group stage football next uh, this season, whether it be Europa League or, or uh, Euro 2 Cup thing. Um, I tell you what, Gosney did really, really well. Filling in at right back. You might have even found himself a home there. Guys, wait right there. I'll play through the Welsh League Cup tie. We'll be back for the second leg. Could we do it? Duffield, what time's the opening ceremony for the new youth facilities? At noon? Hang on, mate, one sec. Hello. Jordan Garrick, listen, mate, your trial's done. You're asking for too much money. You're willing to lower your demands. Mate, that is fantastic. I'm happy to talk terms with you, but I'm getting another call here. Hello. Nebula. Oh, mate, excellent news that you're uh, signing. Happy to have you on board, but I've got to go. There's another call coming in. Hello. Listen, mate, let's go put you on hold for a second here, okay? Duffid, would it kill you to take a bloody call, mate? Okay, welcome back, and so much has happened in the week of game time since that uh, first uh, leg. I feel like we need another episode just to cover everything. First of all, youth facilities have been upgraded. So we're going to have a look at what that means um, for the state of the facilities. They're now below average facilities, which is decent, to be honest. We, you know, we're still building... Uh, and we'll go again for that for next season, assuming that uh, we get into a group stage. Just to, I want to be a little bit careful with finances here. Now, 
There are signings. We have made three signings, would you believe, since uh, since that game. Uh, if we go and have a look, the first one here, I found a left back. I went back to, if you remember Joe Newton from last year, we had him on loan. Uh, we've got him in uh, six uh, grand we paid uh, for him from Coventry. He was transfer listed at Coventry. He's a B minus signing. It's probably roughly what he is, to be honest. We're going to pay him. What are we paying him? Uh, £375 a week. He's a squad player. He was decent enough for us last year. Um, he's good good for the for the Welsh League, I would say. He's got decent enough physicals to get forward. He can cross the ball. He's got decent tackling. He's just... He's not here for a long time, but hopefully he'll be here for a good time. He did fine for us last year. He was acceptable. Um, so, yeah, it, just, it gives us something to get left back, and we definitely needed that. Now, the other news is that uh, Nebilia here has finally agreed and signed the contract. Too late, of course, we registered for the for the European squad for the next round, but that was always going to happen, wasn't it? But a B signing, um, they're pleased to see, uh, the fans are pleased to sign a player of his uh, caliber and importance. The squad now has an abundance of game-changing forwards. He's a good option for us. Um, as a striker, I'm thinking of him more in sort of this sort of a role, perhaps. He can play either either or. He's just, he's a good depth. Um, and a bit of quality as well. So I think he will do quite well for us. 1.2 grand a week. We're paying him on a three-year deal, uh, which is which is good. And the other signing that we have to announce is that the trialist, uh, Jordan Garrick, decided that he didn't want three and a half grand a week. He'd be happy with 550 pounds a week. So that was fine. I signed him for that. Um, the fans aren't so sure about him. It's only a one-year deal, so if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But he's a decent enough option at right wing. He could play up front of the stretch, but I don't really see him as a striker, to be honest. Um, with decent physicals, he can dribble, he can cross the ball. Um, so it's, it's just it's depth at right wing, uh, and we, we do need wingers. Um, so I'm happy to get him in as well. That is most of it. Muddy Moo has signed himself a contract, a professional contract, um, I just I, I feel like we need all the players we can get right now, just with the injuries stacking up and match fatigue players. Um, so that's good. <laughs> I don't know how much he'll play, but you know he's on he's not on that much. He's on about three hundred and fifty pounds a week, I think. But there is one other thing to catch you up on, and that was our Welsh League Cup second round tie against Gap Connors Key. Uh, let's see how we did against them. We took an early lead when Evans headed in Gossay's free kick. And doubled a lead moments later when Ab Gareth tucked away his first for the club. We made it three goals in the opening ten minutes when Ab Gareth crossed for Neto. But Connors Key pulled one back. Before Evans got his second to restore our lead before half time. But we fell asleep after the break and Connors Key rallied to send the tie into extra time. Gosset played in all mark to put us back in front early. Before curling in a stunner of his own. And all mark added his own wonder strike to kill off the tie and send us into the third round. So there we go. It wasn't just off the field where everything was happening. It was also happening on the field. You would not believe we threw away that full goal lead, would you? But Muddy Moo played in the centre of defence. His first game in a long time. Um... Yeah, it showed, to be honest, and Ridian Williams was playing at left back, and that's why we have signed a new left back, because they, they we did struggle. Hopefully, the uh, first team defends a lot better than that cup team did, but going forward, we were absolutely class, and Olmark and Gosset, what about that second goal from Olmark, and that free kick from Denny Gosset, is he back, is he having a wonder year as a professional? Um, let's hope so. We did get our draw, I should say, too, for the third round, uh, we're playing at home to Carnafon, um... We saw last year we struggled against them. I think they actually, did they knock? They knocked us out of one of the cups in the semi final. So it'd be nice to get. I think it was the. Uh, they were the actual. Uh, the sort of the Welsh FA Cup, weren't they? The Welsh Cup. So it'd be nice to get a little bit of revenge against them. But this is what we're all here for. We are here to host Club Bruges and we go into this game ahead on away goals. Um, they are obviously still the favourites. But if we can defend like we did in that last game, that first leg, not like that last game, nothing. If we defend like we did in that, it'll be 10. Um. But, yeah, let's see what we can do here. We do have an analysis report of that previous game. I don't know if they're going to come out like this again. Um, their previous game away from home, they came out like that. So, we'll wait and see. They also lost 3-0. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Positional heat map, we can see there. They did were a little high up the pitch. Um, their passing network and key passes are there as well. 
And this is the team that we are sending out. Now, you will notice we've done a pretty good job here. We don't have match fatigue players for this one. Just Gosney and Evans, and they were never really going to play in this one in any case. So it is not Radcliffe in goal. That would have been bad. It is Louis Gray in goal for this one. Glennon, Denham, uh, Williams, and Nichols, are, uh, the, so the, the back four. Bakari is back on the bench. I don't really think he's match sharp enough for this one. So we're going to stick uh, Nichols back in. It is Owen Taylor continuing ahead of um, Vieira. We'll just go, I mean, he hasn't really done anything wrong yet, so we're going to stick him in and hope that that continues. It's going to be Watson, Parsons in midfield, waiting behind Serafino and Boston Brew. We're 90 minutes away from a massive, massive upset. So they've changed things up again, and that looks very defensive, doesn't it? So now they, what they have done is they've gone two up top. Um, ideally, we'd like to have another centre back in there, wouldn't we? To make sure they don't have a man over. But let's... It, it went okay against Legia Warsaw, didn't it? Uh, they expected to pick up where they left off. We've got nothing to lose here. That's what we're capable of. Um, pick up where we left off last time out. Let's just go. We've got nothing to lose here. Um, we are massive, massive underdogs. Now, let's remember, we need to win one more tie to guarantee ourselves group stage football. So, if we were to win this, at an absolute minimum, we would be back in the Europa Conference group stage for next year. Because if obviously if we lost the next round, we would parachute down into that. But let's not worry about that. We want, ideally, to find ourselves... Oh, I was worried about getting closed down there. Find ourselves in a, in a playoff to get into the Europa League group stage here. Come on, boys. Come on. Nichols. It's a decent ball. It's there. It's Glennon again. Goes with his head this time. And just can't quite keep it down. I tell you what, as far as... Uh, European goal heroes go. You certainly wouldn't expect Glennon bombing forward at left back to be <laughs> much in the conversation, would you? Here we go with a corner to defend. We did work on this in training pre-game. Denham, just don't give away a penalty, mate. It's edge of the area. Oh. It's a sort of goal that when it goes in against you, there's not too much you can do. And it was that sort of goal, isn't it, that cost us against Legia. Parsons with a free kick. It's there. Oh, and it is Reese Williams that gives us the lead on the night. It doesn't mean... Too much in the in the sort of the grand schemes of the tie. I mean, it means that if they score, that everything is still level. We're not going to go out, but oh, there we go. We were going through in, in any case if we don't concede a goal. So nothing changes in that sense. If we don't concede a goal, then we will be going through and knocking out Club Bruges. I tell you what, AEK Athens last year was a big scalp. I think Bruges might be bigger. AEK Athens is not the team it was, what, 20 years ago when I was sort of first really got into football when they were like the big, they were sort of the, the Olympiakos now, weren't they? They were massive uh, in Greek football. They've faded of recent times. Club Bruges, I mean, we saw in the Champions League this year, didn't we? They they gave, they they were in a group, with, they were they in the Paris Saint-Germain, Real Madrid group, or whatever that group was, and they took points off big teams. So they're a good team. Here we go with Nichols getting forward again. Can he do something? He's kept possession there. Crosses it again. It's Bussin and through. And it's 2-0 to Barla Town right before the break. It's 3-1 on aggregate. We offered nothing going forward against Legia Warsaw in the Champions League last time out. But we're offering a little bit today, aren't we? 2-0. If we can just get into the break... Bus and Brew finally gets his goal. He should have had... Well, not should have. He was offside. But he could have had one against Legia Warsaw. He's got it now. And how was he in terms of offside? Oh, he's a mile. Number five there has played him on. Really well-timed run by Luke Bus and Brew. And it's 2-0 Barla Town. Oh, let's not do this. Right before half-time as well. Williams gets it clear. This is how we can see that against Legia, isn't it? These second balls in. Oh, we've done that again. Right on the stroke of half time, it's late goals again. I know it was, it was Gazmonster that was saying that at least we didn't concede goals late in halves. You jinx that one, mate. <laughs> we do have, I think, better fitness. It was again, it's the second ball from a corner, and we've just let him ghost straight in there, haven't we? And it is game back on, unfortunately. It's 2 1, and if they score again, obviously away goals will take them past us. Um, I'm going to say assertively, things are going well, you're capable of better, uh, Owen Taylor, is this one game too far for him in terms of quality, I wonder, James White, we haven't seen much of him, Serafino, we don't want you getting sent off, mate, just don't get yourself sent off, that would make it difficult, Callum Watts is another one in there, mate, do not get sent off, everybody else is doing okay, aren't they, um, oh, it's right at the stroke of half time, 2-0, you're thinking, brilliant, giddy up, we're going on. 
2-1. Oh, and it's going to be nervous again, isn't it? It's going to be nervous. Come on, boys. Let's demand a bit more here. We are putting up a really, really good fight. We've got another corner to defend. And I, I'm frustrated because we did do this in training. We've got that one clear with Parsons to wait. What can James Waite do? He goes early for Bust and Brew. Bust and Brew's in here. Luke, Bust and Brew. Bust and Brew. Oh, he looked, he looked calm, didn't he? He tried to cut in, change the angle on the goalkeeper, but Mingule was equal to it. But we do have a corner. Can we power in a header here? It's oh, decent. Taylor picks it up. What's he got for us? Go on, Owen. Something sensible, please, mate. I feel like you're not doing something sensible. Uh, that's fine. Nichols, and that ends the highlight. Um, we do have Backhill Benny on the bench. I'm wondering, a booking for Callum Watts, if maybe Backhill Benny might be an option for us there. Nichols has lost out there. It's, get to it. Get to it. We've let him get the ball. Williams, come on. Get a block in. Get a block in. Don't do it. Oh, it's decent. It's bouncing around. He's offside. It's got to be offside, referee. He's got to does he he's got to be offside. No, 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 no. He has to be offside. Referee, let's see it. He had to be offside, didn't he? He was off the field. We're behind on away goals. We're 2-0 up and we stuffed it up. He has to be offside. Is it played off Denham, maybe? Oh, it's Denham. Den Denham. He's done it again, and is the injury to Joe Lewis, who should be playing next to Williams, is that going to be what costs us? We get the ball forward. Nichols, come on, boys. We're made of sterner stuff. Nichols does his best, but just can't quite manage it. Ball forward. It's won there by Denham. Oh, it's over the top again. They're picking us to pieces. Glennon's played him on, and we've got away with it. Boys, you need to calm down. Uh, let's give it a concentrate. We have not come out second half at all, have we? Come on, get that away. We just about do second ball, though. Again, Waits there. We can't quite get it clear. Now Watts has it. Clears it up to Bust and Brew, and there's nothing there for us. Um, all right. Backhill, Benny. You owe us in Europe, mate. So we're going to trust you to come on and do a job here for us. Um, and I'm thinking Vieira. Vieira for Taylor. I think... Quality shows at the end of the day, doesn't it? And we just, I think we need Romario Vieira in there. We'll look to get him forward a little bit more here. Uh, we do have one more change. Serafino is not particularly doing it, is he? So let's take him. Uh, no, let's hold off. Let's just hold off on that last change. Come on, boys. Let's go attacking. We need a goal, don't we? There's no way around that. Come on, boys. Demand more. We are going to make that change now. Serafino just hasn't quite... Hasn't quite had it today. Let's bring Ormark on. He's in a little bit of form from that uh, cup game. Is there anything here for us? What else can we do? Let's get stuck in now. Um, let's be more expressive. Let's leave it at that. Here we go. It's a throw in. Nichols for Ormark. Ormark back for Nichols. Let's look at them. There's four men on Boston Brew. There he is for Ormark. A little bit of space. Ormark! Off the post, was it? Or was it a save? It's a corner either way. Damien Allmark, almost the hero. Come on, from the corner. Can we find Williams? Can we find somebody in there? No, it's headed away. Wait picks it up. Can Wait be our hero today? Wait, he does his best. It's going to be another corner. It's decent pressure. Can we find a moment of inspiration to get back in front here? Parsons to knock it in. He does. It's decent. It's away. Back heel Benny's there. Back for Wait to Benny. Back for weight. Looks for backhill Benny. Don't try a backhill, mate. Denim on the retreat, and it's not there for us. I'm going to praise them. We're doing okay here. Come on, boys. Come on. Please. All right, let's... More direct. We'll play for set pieces. We're a decent set piece team. Do we want to pass into space? I don't think we do. It's not really the way we play. Let's go higher up. We've got to try and win this back, don't we? Um, we don't have any more subs to make. We've done all we can. Boys, please, is there one highlight? Something. We're going to go out and away goals. That is so, so cruel. It's so, so cruel, and it's happened. Oh. I thought we were going to do it at 2-0, and I'm sure you guys did as well. I thought we were going to do it, and it's this David Okuru Kuru guy. I mean, look at that. He's absolute quality. And he has been our undoing. Oh, that is, that is so, that is so disappointing. So there we go. It's away goals that do us in the end. And 
I'm pleased with the performance over the two legs. I felt we deserved more. It's more money in the bank, and we have our... Now, is this, this is the... Is this the Lithuanian team that we played once before? So, again, we've got... It is, it's, it's the same team, isn't it? We played these guys. This was, we, this was our first um, win in Europe, wasn't it? A couple of seasons ago. We played them in Europa League qualifying. It was. Okay, so we've knocked this team out before. We know what to expect from them. And we have, if we get past this tie, we will find ourselves in the European, this uh, Europe, to, what's it called, European Conference Group Stage Two thing again. So that that looks doable. We've got more money in the bank. There's more fixtures to be rearranged. Um, so that's all good for the finances. But we will be back tomorrow, and it will be back to Europe, and it will be back to Lithuania, home and away. Can we go back into the group stage and the money that that will bring us again, that will allow us to go again on youth facilities, it will it'll just really, really help the club, won't it? It helps us build towards this Champions League campaign, if and when it will get here. But there we go. Sorry that we just couldn't quite get there today. At least we saw highlights and goals, though. But and if you have enjoyed that, please do hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know what you think in the comments. And we'll be back tomorrow to try and get back into a group stage. Until then, I've been Aussie Bill, and thank you so much for watching. Take care.